Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Welcome back to Think Tech. I'm Jay Fidel, and it's a given Friday. And we're going to have a very interesting show today about 5.0 and casting. You will be interested. Before we do that, though, I just want to say our hearts go out uh, to the, the people who were killed and their families in the Maryland uh, gun uh, escapade yesterday. And we're listening to other media, and we have, you know, sounds of the decedents, stories of decedents and their families and what happened. But you know what? Until now, we don't have a, a, any sound at all about gun control. And the silence is actually deafening. The silence about gun control seems to be the new normal. Okay? That's my only statement on it. Now let's get, let's get to work. Sandy Elisi, thank you for coming down. You're from, you're from the casting company, Sandy Elisi. Casting That's company, the one. which casts for 5.0. Oh, you're right, right here in our studio. Yes. Thank you for being here. And Magnum PI. And Magnum PI. Yes. Wow. And thank you so much for having me. Yeah. I am thrilled to be here. Were you an actress? No, I was not an actress. What got you into this business? You know, I worked in the in the music industry, and I decided that I wanted to get into film. So I started working as an extra, and I did it for about a year. When I was on set, I would ask everyone, "What is your job? How much do you make?" And do you have to work all night in the rain? Tell me about your position. Are you lugging all cables? All the questions I wanted to know. So it took me a little while to figure that um, casting was the thing for me because I could do it from my office and I could have a normal, semi-normal life. Yeah, and you have a, you know, it's like they were talking about the judges that are being appointed in the federal district court around the country. And, you know, he's appointed like 42 judges. It's huge, more than any other president that we can think of. And, and the question they put, you know, this morning on uh, HPR, NPR, is how much influence does that have on our lives, all these, you know, conservative judges? Well, how about you? How much influence do you have on the production? 5 or um, uh, the other one? Uh, Magnum P.I. Magnum P.I. Reboot, yes. How much influence do you have? I mean, it seems to me you have tons of influence. I do. You know, we, ha we can create... Uh, a texture and a and a and a flavor. You know, we we do add a lot. So, um, for example, the Pirates of the Caribbean films. Um, on those films, I made sure that all of the pirates were very very short or very very tall. They were all different heights, varied heights. <laughs> and then for the sailors, I wanted them to all be the same height. It wasn't a requirement, but that's what I wanted. So, so when they run together and they're marching, they look very uniform, very different you can than the pirates. Them as a yeah, group. and so maybe nobody noticed that, but. <laughs> That's what I had to add. Did, did they know, did the producer, <laughs> director know you were doing this? I don't think so. Um, with the pirates, we wanted them, f you know, definitely to be very varied. But for the sailors, I had my own standards. But I, you know, I think it came out well. So in order to do that, in order to make a decision like that, which impresses me greatly, especially <laughs> in, in the thought that they might not know what you were yeah. doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's independence, a, a creative independence. You know, are, do you read the script? Do yes. you, you know the story? Do you know enough to know yes. to make these subtle, yes. nuanced decisions? Yeah. Yes, we do. So I read the script, and you you decide, like just like crewing up ships for Pirates of the Caribbean. Where is Jack Sparrow when he's crewing up his ship? Does he have a lot of time? Is he rushing? Uh, you know, where is he? You know, are are the dregs of the world around, or does he have able-bodied, hardy men, or are they? you know, skinny, lettuce-eating scoundrels. This is an essential part of the intellectual <laughs> property of, of the movie. This yeah. is really right in there. You're shaping, toning it, doing yes, it. Yes, yeah. exactly. That's fabulous. Yeah, and then I try to go as far as I can with sending people who are on the edge of completely not being right, but it's, it's fun. I like to put something new in front of the director. Corkers. Yeah, well, like something Marty. Something surprises them. <laughs> <laughs> like Marty, the, he's, uh, he's a little person, bald little person. He was one of the crew I, members. I can relate to that. Yeah, I, well, I, I was able to get <laughs> Maybe him. Maybe there's in, a job in it for me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, too late. The movie was made. That one's sorry. There'll be others. <laughs> the remake, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or, um, you know, there were a couple of men that I put on. They, they ended up being in Davy Jones's crew, and they were probably about 120 pounds at six foot five, maybe. 
with giant noses and just bulbous eyes, very piratey looking. And uh, the director, Gore Verbinski, saw them and he went, like he just thought it was so delicious. And he said, let's stick them together, conjoined twins. And I love conjoined twins, so I was happy to help create a set. So, okay, you're talking about half of it. I mean, half of the sort of the contribution. You know, to know what you want, to decide what you want, to, to find your role in the creation of this intellect, this content, yeah? But the other part is you have to go out and find the people that yeah. you envision uh -huh. in your creative, you know, image of them. How right. do you do that? Where do you, so there you are sitting at your desk. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. You, you know you've got it. Now you've got it. Now you know what you want. How do you get it? Well, every day is different. And I think that's why I've been able to do it for 20 something years um, because it's a challenge I can't, every you day. You must have started when you were four. I was, I was four. <laughs> I was. Good beginning. Yes. With divine inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, you just start looking. If you need somebody who, ha who has a certain skill, then you start looking in that area to find who, who you can bring in. So, um, you know, there's a lot of ways that we go out there and find people, but one of the ways is to try to get people to come out of their homes and come to our open casting call because we will see people and say, oh, we need you. And people might not realize that they're perfect for us. We need every single type of person. But you will realize. Like, is it immediately? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, you yeah. know, as soon as you see this yep. person, you know, this is the one I need. Yeah. And, well, at our open casting call, we'll have many, many people. We have the line moving fast, and I get to see everyone, and we make it fun. We make it a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, when we have time, we have um, anyone who wants to show us their talent, do a little bit of, you know, they'll do tricks or sing or dance or flips or whatever they have. And um, I've been adding that to my open call um, for years in all different locations, all different states. So aside from fun, what does that show you? What does that show you if they well, come up with a little tap dance for you? Then you know that that person can do that. So it's just good to have But in there's your something mind. else too, isn't there? I mean, they're willing to actually yes. you know, perform for yes. it. Yes, and some people come to the open call and they can't wait to show us something. So I want them to get it out. And they want to distinguish themselves. And yeah. you want them to distinguish themselves. I want themselves. them to. I want them to get it why, out. Why yeah. am I different from all the other people? In the, you know, how many people show up at these Thousands. Things? Thousands. Yeah, thousands. Wow, look, but I don't want to scare anyone away because it, it, everything moves really fast. You're in and out in 20 minutes. It's not... It's not waiting in line for hours. It's okay, not like that. We we have a good flow. Flip the, flip the switch here. Yes. Okay. So I hear I hear you on this show right now. We'll talk about how they can get in touch with you. You're probably going to be besieged when everybody you know finds out about this. Okay. I hear about you, um, and I hear the place, the time, the date, and I, I come down there. Okay. Yes. A lot of people around me. Yes. There's you, maybe a crew of your. You know, my, colleagues my there, uh -huh. okay, and you're watching, and um, and and you you run them through, yes, and you only have X seconds hmm, for each one, a minute maybe. Yeah, but then one. we capture their information. So how, how do you mean? On, in, well, we have on everyone bring a picture. No. Well, we do that too. Everyone comes and signs up online, which is very easy. So you you just go home. We have a database. Yeah. 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 So we've had that since. Um, well, I've been working here in Hawaii for a while. I did. Uh, Pirates 4 and I did Kong Skull Island here. Okay. So we have lots of files, but we just want more. We just want to see new faces and um, You know they come they, they can register online So you don't really have to go to the open casting call as long as you register online once you do that You're in there forever and then we'll just text you or email you, if you like what's in if the we, database if you we may watch, call them. Yes, we will call them we will we can search by lots of different criteria, and we could just oh. text out and say, would you like to work next week, or whatever it is. So it doesn't hurt, because you could turn down the job. So yeah. you might as well just register to see if we have yeah. something. We might have something amazing. OK, so first, you know, I come and see you. And you're sitting, what, in a big room? A yes. lot of people there, everybody yes. sees the action, sees what's going on. So I see all the people who are online before me. I see uh -huh. what they're doing, at least to some extent. What's your advice? Okay, how can I best get this job? What do I have to show you? What should be my mental set when I come and I and I appear in front of you? Well, you know, it's really pretty easy. Just be nice and well, <laughs> just be friendly and nice. Art. There's nothing really you can do. You know, sometimes people really want to go out of their way and 
you know, kind of get after me. But uh, I don't, there's nothing you have to do. It's just be, just be yourself. There, we don't need anything. We need everything. We don't need anything so specifically that we're going to say, oh, you're too something, something. We're not doing that. We just want to see people. Suppose I'm a villain. You know, I'm reminded of, of a Tosca in an opera, and uh, there's a character in there by the name of Scorpio. In fact, he was on the Met. We saw it on the Met here a week ago. And, uh, you know, he is really evil. The guy is really evil, tricky, deceptive, nasty, nasty guy. And at the end of the, of the, of the performance at, at the Metropolitan, okay, customarily the audience boos him. Even if they like him, they boo him. They want, they like his meanness. Mm -hmm. Okay? Do you look for meanness? Oh, of course. <laughs> That's what I thought when I saw you. Oh, oh how nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I, we're always looking for that. We're looking for extreme characters and... Bad guys, villains, heroes, all of it. <laughs> okay, let me, me back up just yes. a little bit. No, now I'm filling out the database. Uh -huh. okay? I'm putting my, my yes. thing down. And I have to give you a picture, of course, uh -huh. maybe, maybe more than one even. Huh? One is fine, one is but fine. two a sometimes good, could okay. help. And I have to give you my background, and I have to mm -hmm. give you probably a, some kind of statement of who I think I am, and, uh, and maybe my you know curriculum vitae of some kind. All right. How should I approach that? Well, it's not that. It's, you have to check boxes. It's going to ask okay. for your skills. You're going to fill in what your skills are and your, your height and height. different things, like your sizes. Yeah, and it's yeah. because we have a lot of rules that have costumes. require costumes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your, and it's your size from now, not from high school. Yeah. So your real sizes. Yeah. And I'm, th I'm sure there are special situations. My wife and I just went to, to see Hunchback of Notre Dame mm -hmm. in Seattle. Marvelous, marvelous performance. Yeah. And the lead character is, in fact, deaf and dumb. He is, oh. in fact, deaf and dumb. And okay. they communicate, uh, he communicate by American Sign Language. So he said, well, that's, that's a hard one to cast, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, deaf and mute. Definitely. Okay, okay. Um, no, I have that. We can find that. Yeah, but that's great. I love that, you know, he's an actor. I just did about 23 roles on a film for Gus Van Zandt called Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot with Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> and I love this opportunity. They call me for specialty work, and this was definitely specialty. It was all, everyone was disabled, so many disabled people to do stunts and so many, so many things. And it's wonderful. And they're there. I mean, the actors are out there. So you don't want to write yourself off here. If you have the slightest interest, go in the database. Yeah, put the yourself slightest in, because interest. Because you never know Sandy may like you yeah. for what you are. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so there's no, absolutely no experience needed. Um, and every single type is what we're looking for. And you might have the skill. I, I mean, you might have the one thing that we really, really need. Uh, but besides that, we have thousands and thousands of roles to cast because we have two television shows, and then we have more projects coming up here on Wahoo at the end of the year. So we need we need everyone. We need you and your your sister and your mom, okay. and we need everybody. We do. And when we come back from this very short break, we're going to find out what she's looking for now. You know the specific characters that may be on her desk. And we're also going to find out, it'll be, a, it'll be a scoop, right after this break, you know, she referred to other projects coming up later this year. We're going to ask her, we're going to ask her what they are. I'm not telling you. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. We'll see if we can do something. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm DeSoto Brown, the co-host of Human Humane Architecture, which is seen on Think Tech Hawaii every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. And with the show's host, Martin Despang, we discuss architecture here in the Hawaiian Islands and how it not only affects the way we live, but other aspects of our life, not only here in Hawaii, but internationally as well. So join us for Human Humane Architecture every other Tuesday at 4 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. Hello. My name is Stephanie Mock, and I'm one of three hosts of Think Tech Hawaii's Hawaii Food and Farmer series. Our other hosts are Matt Johnson and Pamai Weigert, and we talk to those who are in the fields and behind the scenes of our local food system. We talk to farmers, chefs, restaurateurs, and more to learn more about what goes into sustainable agriculture here in Hawaii. We are on at Thursdays at 4 p.m., and we hope we'll see you next time. We're back with Sandy. 
Alisi. Yes. Okay, and she is a casting director person. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What do you think of Harvey Weinstein? He did a lot of casting. Oh boy. Yes. That really affected things, didn't it? Changed well, things. Well, it did, and um, I am happy for everyone who was able to speak up after that. So, you know. Good, good for the industry, actually. Good for the industry. It, it creates sure. a, a sort of a new time, a better time for the industry it in general. Really does. I think. You know, the days of the 20s when all this kind of thing began, they're over. Mm -hmm. We're in a new for place sure. now, much more professional now. Yeah, no you know, part of that. Yeah. No tolerance yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, uh, I, I was only kidding when I said I was going to ask you about your projects. I know for a moral certainty that you're not going to tell me about your. Would you like to? I would like to, but I am not allowed to. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to a lot? I would like to a lot because then people would be really excited and get into my database in preparation for those projects. <laughs> okay, well. And sometimes when the projects are very, very big, I'm never allowed to talk about them. So I won't know until we're closer to shooting, but I might, I might not be able to talk about them at all and still try to get people to sign up. You mean so to say just believe me. Ever? Ever. Yeah, Ever. During, wow. the whole, during the whole shoot, we're not allowed to say what film we're on. And everyone, especially here on Oahu, knows what we're shooting, but sometimes I am not allowed to say it at all. <laughs> this is great. No, they'll, they'll give us a, a fake name and we'll, exciting. we'll go with that. We, so, sometimes we just say, it's a mayonnaise commercial. <laughs> mayonnaise? Yes, yeah, just I'll something as boring as can be. Yeah, footage. <laughs> so but the thing is, I mean I, I mean, I believe you, and they do. Those people out there, they believe you that these are big projects. Yeah. These are important projects. Mm -hmm. So all the more reason to put their names in, in the database. Do it now and just be in because once you're in, you're in forever. As long as your phone number and your email works, you will remain That's, in there. Okay, fabulous. Mm -hmm. And so, and it's not just for one. No, you put your, your name in the database. It's not just for one that we know you're doing, like five right. O or it's, Magnum PI. That's two. Magnum, okay, it's two. Right, it, but it it's for all kinds of other all stuff. kinds of other stuff. And it can be for multiple stuff. And multiple stuff, absolutely, and for years to come. Yeah. As long as your phone number works, well, you'll be in. You sort of draw a person as he gets older. In other words, say, well, we know what he looked like in 2018. Now we're looking at the database in 2025. Yes, well, we do have we to imagine. estimate. <laughs> yeah, because not everyone updates their, their photos, so we can see the day that they registered or updated. So we can, you know, use our own mental age progress progression to, yeah, yeah. to determine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk about 5.0 for a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, you know, we talk about all of them, but for 5.0, what are you looking for? Um, well, on both shows, we're looking for basically the same, not really, you know, this is the thing I have to tell you, we're not starting for a few weeks and we, we don't have scripts and breakdowns yet, so I don't have exactly what we're looking for, but based on, on our experience with this type of show, we, we know that we're looking for um, so many different types. We're looking for surfers and military types and people with great beach bodies and beautiful women and um, people with real world skills and you know we need people in cars we need people at restaurants we need you know maybe some bad guys we need some first responder types <laughs> um, you know bartenders nurses Oh, we could go on and on. There's so many things. We love to put real in a real slot. We love it, it, to have the real different thing. Different between 5.0 and, and uh, Magnum PI, yeah? Um, or is it the same, looking at the same character types? You know, if I had a breakdown of the shows, I could tell you, but I don't have it yet. I mean, we're, we're, we can't wait to get it, but we, yeah, we just yeah. haven't, um, we haven't received it yet. And trying yes. to figure out what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, so we know, you know, broadly what we're looking for, and... Uh, that's why we need everyone to show up. So if it shows up on my breakdown, then I'll already have so, it. So is it right? I mean, I, I went through a uh, program with the retirement of one of the, one of the, uh, in fact, the lady who ran OC16, which is one of the, you know, um, the cable shows, the top local cable show. And the thing was, uh, they asked, how many people in this room, you know, there's like 300 people in the room, is at her retirement line. How many people in this room got their break from Mitzi? And like, you know, Three quarters of the room raised their hands. They got their break from Mitzi. That's really something. Yeah. You walk down the street, all these people behind you say, hey, Mitzi, you, nice. you gave me my big break. Yeah. What about you? Do you give big breaks to people? Um, well, I've given millions of jobs. <laughs> so I know some of them really, you know, took off. And yeah, I could yeah. say. Speaking roles. Yeah. Speaking roles. Yeah. yeah. 
but not re lead roles. Those are handled at the top of the pyramid, right? Right, but you know, plenty of great roles. And um, I have someone who is a Lego that I cast, and now he's a Lego. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> this, 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 this goes in your well, people, book. You know? I mean, I've been doing it a long time, so people have, I, I get to see people, you know, make their way through the business and and then never take a job from me again because they're <laughs> doing the big roles. But that's great. Yeah, yeah. I, I love to see it. And when I first started practicing law here, and that was 50, 50 well, almost 50 years ago, I, one of my one of the partners in my firm got a role in Hawaii Five O, mm -hmm. and it was the old version. It was, it was, it was the, you know, the previous yes. one. Yes. And his job was to be a victim, and uh, uh, some, they were going to shoot him or something, and um, and then run him over. Was, and he had no speaking role at all. Um, so the car came and the shots were fired, and he fell down in front of a ho hotel in Waikiki somewhere, and he played dead. And he was on screen for maybe 30 seconds, okay? It defined him. Really? He talked about that for the rest of his life. Right? You know? Yes. How, this kind of thing affects people to it the does. core. It does. It really does. It absolutely does. I yeah. see it all the time. Yeah. People get really excited. It depends on where we are. Um, I, you know, when you're in a smaller town and you make that call, I'd like to see if you want to be in our film. And the whole <laughs> family is screaming. And it's very exciting. It is, and sometimes you make the call and people are like, what time? So it just depends. But um, yeah, you can, you can have that one defi life-defining extra role. It happens a lot. You know, I was, uh, I was an extra when I was, when I was coming when up in the business. you an extra, yeah. Yeah, and I... You don't, uh, you don't, you don't select yourself these No, days, I can't so, do okay. that, no. Yeah, it's a conflict no. of interest. Yes, <laughs> no. And I make sure that I'm not selected. Okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> if asked. But um, I worked as a waitress on Seinfeld. So I, uh, I was a waitress in the gold alf, you know, uniform in the coffee shop. And I was a very bad extra because I would try to get on camera as much as I could. <laughs> I, I'm not an actress at all, <laughs> but I would, you know, George was speaking, so I would lean down and like pretend I was getting napkins just to get in the, the shot. That's hysterical. Yeah. You got the footage? I'd like to see yeah, it Yeah, well, I was on for many years, so I'm in lots of episodes. Like the soup Nazi, I'm in that one. But, um, but then I think I mean, about Everybody the knows the soup Nazi. Yeah, I think about the girl who was his assistant who takes the soup and gives the money back and she I, I'm pretty sure she's signing autographs somewhere I'm telling you <laughs> okay now there's of course there's, the opportunity uh, is always there to screw it up in other words you call me I go down there yeah. I, I start you know getting into the frame yeah <laughs> making a nuisance of my right I said, or I didn't show up in time or who knows That's, what other it's not good to do yeah. no so is there a little that. place in you know in in the in the internet uh, in the database where you oh, say, yeah. don't call this one? Oh yeah <laughs> well we send our information out in a very um, in, a, in a way that you get a lot you get a lot of information so uh, we make sure that you know don't approach the actors they're working don't bring your children. Um, plan on working a long day. You can't leave early yeah. to go to class yeah. and um, that type thing. Don't look into the camera. That's one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, looking into the camera would be gross. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Just show to show you what I mean. <laughs> Sandy and I are both going to look in camera one now, what? and you can see how nerve wracking it is when we look directly at you. Ooh. See. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but you're still in my database. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about where and when and how yes. you're going to do this and uh, how can I get in on it. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I hope the staff here in Sing Tech is not listening because we don't want to lose them to uh, you know any of your shows. Yes. Okay. So if you go to our website. It's www.sandyalisi, it says here below, sandyalisicasting.com. And then you click on the button that says register and just have a selfie ready to upload. That's all you need. I don't need a professional picture. You don't have to go get your hair and makeup done. 
just make sure you don't have sunglasses on and a hat on and just let us see what you look like. Um, we love it when you take it in front of a white background just because then when we present pictures to the director, they look, they look the really nice yeah. and then if we have to print them out, it doesn't take as much ink. So we like that white saving background. Ink, We'd like to save trees. ink, yes. <laughs> so, um, so, that, so if you do that, if you go through those steps and make sure you put in your, your cell phone and whatever information you have, then that's all we really need. Need. If you want to, the next option is this, come down and see us, then we would love that too. But we still want you to get into the database. When you come to see us, it gives us another hard copy that we work with. And this is another way that we like to save ink is by using those hard copies to show pictures. So we're pulling from those before we start printing. So that's why we have the two options. And, um, and the third thing that, that you would need to do is go to our Facebook page at Sandy Alisi Casting Hawaii and uh, just like us. And from there, you'll see all of our casting notices. So we'll post on there because we have a, a big team working on these shows. So all of us will be accessing and posting what we need. Sometimes we'll post a picture of an actor and we'll say, because we don't like to mention names, it starts to get into a Google publicity type thing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. So we'll just put the picture up and we'll say, we need someone who looks like this fine actor. Oh, smart. Yes. Really smart. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll give a height and a size and we'll say, do you know someone that looks like this? Or we'll say, we need people with bicycles to ride at the beach. We need, you know, we need people with surfboards. We need, uh, you know, upscale people to come to a restaurant or we need children. Whatever it is, we post that on our Facebook page. Yeah. And we make it really easy for you to respond. You could just click respond, and then we'll see that you're you're interested, and we'll know that you're available. And then we reach out and uh, get you a job. Thousands of jobs. Okay, I got I got a couple, three questions. Yes. Um, you know, one is uh, you said you had a big team. How big is the team? Um, we have How a big, big team. How big does it need to be? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six-ish. And then you know, if we need more, we bring them in. So after after you have this line of people passed, seven, and you all seven. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sure you. Oh no, our team tomorrow is going to be giant. We're going to have probably twenty or more. Tomorrow, plus Saturday. our team, so maybe twenty-seven. We'll have. And the location helping. one more time. I didn't tell you the location, but I'd like to tell you now. Okay. Okay. Saturday, June thirtieth. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And when I say that, I mean that's when we'll be there. So don't come at 9 because it's busy. Everyone thinks that they should be there first. It's great to come at lunchtime. There's no line, you know, come in the afternoon. Cool. So anyway, don't come at 9. So, but we'll be there from 9 to 5. And it's at the Word Center Shops at, uh, it, it's a restaurant that used to be Ryan's Grill, but now it's empty. Yeah, sure, yeah. So we're going to be inside there. Yeah. And um, there's parking in the garage and the surrounding areas. So Ryan's Grill tomorrow around lunchtime. Wow, Sandy. <laughs> I know you'll have a good day. Yeah, I think it'll be a good yeah, day. I mean, it'll be great. Because people in Hawaii love these they love both of those shows. Yeah. And and they want to come down and they wanna participate and they wanna have all their friends see them on a right? national level. Yeah. And my wife, you can't you can't pull her away from the tube when five O is on, you know. Oh, it that's doesn't so matter good. what's happening. She just needs to it's like an infusion thing. Yeah. Anyway, I'm so happy that you came down today. Thank you. I am it's so happy. Grand. And you know, that as far you had as me on our show. casting is concerned concerned with you it was perfect oh that's nice <laughs> and i have a rule for you <laughs> yeah we'll see you after we're gonna have a conversation after. thank you sandy thank you so much it was wonderful thank Aloha. you <laughs>